Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, in this video, I wanna to talk to you probably about one of the most important subjects when it comes to running your fitness business. And that is being motivated to do the necessary tasks. Now, for the last 15 years, I've been helping fitness professionals to not only build their business, but understand what it takes to build a business. And one of the traits that successful fitness business owners have, and also business owners in general, all the way around the world, is they are motivated to do the work. They stay focused and do the work. And you may be watching this right now and you may be thinking, well, that's something that I lack. I just don't seem to be motivated to do everything. And I try and find so many different things to keep me motivated. Let me give you an understanding or something to really help you get clear on what motivation really is and what my perspective on motivation is. You see, in order to do a task, you don't actually need motivation. What you actually need is inspiration. And they're two very, very different things. Anything that I'm inspired to do, I am reliable, I am disciplined, I am focused, I get it done. In fact, when you're inspired to do something, it requires less effort. You see, what you tend to do is you put things on the back burner, you procrastinate on things that we don't perceive to be valuable. So anything that you feel you need external motivation for, you simply don't value it. What I wanna do for a minute is say to you, let's park the word motivation to one side for a second. Look at your life right now and tell me, tell yourself right now, what are the things that you never have to be reminded to do? What are the things that you get done, you're reliable, you're disciplined, you're focused? Something that I always remind people of is parents and picking up their children from school. No one has to remind them to do that. They're there on time every single day. Why is that? Because they mean something to them. So for you right now, let's use training as an example. No one has to remind you to train. No one has to remind you to prepare your food. You're reliable, you're disciplined. In fact, you move so much out of the way to make sure that this gets done. So how do we identify why we're not doing the other tasks that you want to accomplish in your life? Very often people say, I want to achieve something. There's a very big difference between wanting to and needing to because if something becomes a must-have in your life a necessity you find a way you become disciplined and reliable so whenever i'm working with somebody who says i want to work with you mark because i need the accountability and i need motivation from an external source i will always say the thing that you say you want building a business making more money getting more clients why is that important to you you see, there's a process that I teach that is called linking. And I learned this from the great John D. Martini. You see, very often people say they want something, but they've never linked the tasks and the value of that thing to them. So they say, I want to achieve 5K a month. I want to achieve 10K a month. I want to get 20, 30 clients. Very often because They'll see it, that's what everybody else is doing. They'll say that they want to grow a bigger business. And when it comes down to it, you get given the task to do on a day-to-day -day basis. But guess what? You just don't do them. So how does reaching 5K, how does having another 20 clients, how does that help you achieve something that's deeply meaningful in your life? So now let's look at why you're building a fitness business. What is the reason that you're building a fitness business? To achieve more independence. Maybe you want to travel more. Maybe you want to increase your revenue so that you could help your family. You see, whatever you want to do that you feel you're not motivated to do, you have to start writing down the goal and what you truly want out of life. So I'll give you an example in my life. 
if I want to buy a bigger house for me and my wife and move, and it's going to cost me another 20,000 pounds, if I actually say, what do I need to do in order to increase the revenue in my business? I need to get X amount of clients. I need to provide a high value of service. I need to write a certain program. I need to launch a certain program. And I start saying, well, everything that I'm doing, everything that I know I need to do, some of it, which I completely agree with you, will be hard to do. I then start saying, what is the value of this task relative to me earning 20,000 pounds to be able to help me and my wife buy a better home? What is the value of this task relative to myself and my wife living in a particular area that's different to where we are right now? And as I start to identify the value of creating videos as I'm doing right now, or the value of blocking out time to write emails, I start to feel a level of inspiration inside me. You see, inspirational energy is electric. Inspirational energy drives you to work hard. Inspirational energy gives you momentum. Motivation, inspiration. Inspiration comes from in here, in here hard. It just drives you to do that thing and block out everything else. Motivation is the fact that you are relying on an external person or object or thing to tell you to do something. So in the morning, you may put on a video to try and hype you up, but guess what? Much like a Red Bull, gives you short-term caffeine hit and a high. After a little while, it drops back down. So the most important thing I can feed to you right now about trying to be motivated to do something that you don't wanna do is to actually identify the value of the thing that you say you need to be motivated to do. So if you're saying you wanna go on holiday and you wanna lose weight, and two weeks into it, you've not done anything and you're trying to find external motivation, but you just can't find that motivation. What is the value of you being in shape on holiday relative to the exercise you're about to do or need to do or, or actually going to the gym? Well, I'm gonna feel better in myself. I'm gonna look better. I'm gonna have more confidence. I'm probably gonna be able to take more photos of myself on holiday, which is enabling me to have better content. If I have better content, it's gonna help me reach more people. If it's gonna help me reach more people, it's gonna help me make more money. If it's gonna help me make more money, I'm gonna be able to buy a better home. If I'm gonna buy a better home, it's an investment. If I have an investment, it's a, a, an asset that's growing in value over the years. And I start to stack up these things. I'm like, I can't wait to go to the gym because I have so much internal inspiration to get this thing done. So. If you're watching this video right now and you're saying, I lack motivation, understand that you're just not inspired. And when you write down the thing that you want and identify here, the things that you want to achieve in your life and you link the things together, you will find that you don't need any motivation. You'll find that it comes from an inspired energy in within yourself. So motivation versus inspiration. I hope you found this valuable. And as always, please, Click like and subscribe and make sure you tune in to my next video.